Good morning. It's the 21st of April uh, and my name is Tim Broughton. It's good to be with you. Uh, all around us at the moment uh, are signs of spring. Uh, flowers coming into bloom. Uh, the days are getting longer. There's more light. Uh, Jesus has a lot to say about light. Uh, Jesus makes considerable claims about himself and light. In John chapter 8, verse 12, he says that he is the light of the world. Whoever follows him, he claims, will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In biology class, way back when, I can remember being taught about photosynthesis at school, the process by which plants convert light into energy. Light is captured by those plants. It's used to convert water, carbon dioxide and other minerals into oxygen uh, and other energy rich compounds. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, it would be impossible to overestimate the importance of photosynthesis in the maintenance of life on Earth. If it ceased, there would very quickly be almost no organic matter left on Earth. In other words, without light the earth would be formless and void. We learned to know another quality of light in that biology class too, phototropism. I don't know if you've heard of that, the ability of a plant to grow in the direction of the light. Uh, photosynthesis is so important to plants that they have mechanisms that detect the direction of the greatest source of light and bend towards it. It's a remarkable ability. It means they can maximise their energy, sustain their growth, create enough nutrients to blood, bud and to flower, to be fruitful and to flourish. There's a very Genesis word. Uh, some plants, daffodils and daisies, for example, like the daffodils that are growing in our hedgerows all around at the moment. Well, they follow the sun around the sky, their heads moving as the sun makes its arc through the heavens. Uh, daisies love the sun so much that they even close their petals at night, opening them, opening them again each morning to receive the sun's light. And there's one other quality, photoperiodism. It's the ability of plants to detect the length of the day, to know how long there is continuous light, for it's then that they're at their strongest. That's when they produce flowers and seeds. That's when that plant is at its most fruitful. Why share this? Because life is a sustaining force. Jesus said that he is the light of the world. And so we are dependent on the life of Christ for our sustaining, our flourishing, our life. I pray that we might become those who are energised by that light, those who follow that light through the arc of the heavens, that those who spend so much time living in the light, that we become fruitful, produce seeds and flourish. I pray that the light of God shine deeply upon us, that that light is a catalyst transforming who we are and allowing us to grow. In the name of Christ. Amen. Let's pray. Uh, loving God, we thank you for Jesus, the light of the world. We pray that we might seek that light, live in that light, grow in that light, that ultimately we might flourish, produce seeds and grow your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's been good to be with you for this short reflection. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless.